Something that really, really frustrates me. In fact, no, it doesn't frustrate me. It overwhelms people more than it frustrates me. And that's where the damage is done. Phones. We have these everywhere. They're in our pockets, access to the whole entire world. And we have people saying, you need to get off your phone, which is cool. But people have their phones there as an extension to their arm. And then we have this, oh, all these electromagnetic fields are going to fry your brain and turn it into scrambled egg. Yes, they may do over time. Having your phone in your pocket is going to radioactively vibrate your balls to the point you will never be able to have kids. Yeah, maybe, just maybe, over time. But we want to have healthy individuals. We want to be healthy individuals. And there are all these little things we could do, but they add to overwhelm. All this blue light is going to kill you. Our brains are designed to work in a certain circadian rhythm. Yes, that is true. 100% true. When the sun rises, we're supposed to be waking up. When the sun goes down, we're supposed to be going to bed. But the life, the world, the society we live in nowadays, the society we live in does not seem to appreciate that and it can get overwhelming to say that I have to get up at 6 and I have to go to bed at 10 it can get very overwhelming and then to say you can't have your phone in the bedroom because these things next to us they're not really a phone anymore are they they're every single thing but a phone when was the last time you made a phone call every single day without doing anything else on it it's a piece of technology it's an alarm clock, it's a book, it's a radio, it's a podcast app, it's everything there. So what can you actually do? Because these gurus that are saying, go and do this exact morning routine every single day, which is cool. If you can do a morning routine every single day, I have a morning routine. I believe in a morning routine. I believe in my evening routine. But do I do it every single day? Guess what? I I'm a human being, just like you. And sometimes it's that four letter word that begins with L, that ends in E, and has an if in the middle. If life gets in the way, we don't want to feel overwhelmed that we're falling off. Could you do something about blue light? Yes, you could. You could simply get some blue light glasses to block out blue light. You simply could get some and it would help. You could put the filters on in your phone. Most mobile phones nowadays have blue light filters. Your MacBooks, your laptops have F.Lux. They have blue light filters that will automatically, due to your location, switch when it's supposed to be sun down and sunrise. A slight orange tint to the screen. Now, what happens in the real world? That when you go to bed, and your phone's next to you. Yes, I would ideally like people not to have their phone in the bedroom, but it is reality that most people, 99.9% .9 of people have their phone in the bedroom. And I work with clients that are real, that live in the real world, in the real life situations, have real family, real partners that if you don't have your phone in the bedroom, maybe that's cool. But your partner wants theirs in the bedroom. I have a Lumi lamp, so I don't use my phone as an alarm clock. I have this lamp which wakes me up and I use that as my lamp in the evening for reading. And I real read a real book. I read a book that's just a good story to switch the brain. Now, if you want to have your phone there, cool. I am 100% cool with that. Switch it onto airplane mode. You know what you could do to benefit? Stop stressing about the fact that your phone is there or that some guru told you that you cannot have your phone there at all. If not, it's going to melt your brain waves and fry your brain into a fried egg, which eggs are bad for you because of saturated fat and all that. Then maybe you could just switch it to airplane mode, download Kindle and read. Read on your phone. 
on your iPad. Rather than scrolling and trolling, read a book, a story. I love Jack Reacher books, so I'll be reading Lee Child and all those sorts of things. Rather than stressing about what do I need to do to optimize my health. Now notice as well, most people will think, I need to do this and that and that and that. And because I can't do this, that, that and that, filtering out blue light every single place I go or have blackout blinds or anything like that, they don't do the basics. That person that moans about blue light all the time, they write that post that says, oh, blue light is so bad while they've got their donut next to them where they've just ordered their takeout and they've got a bottle of beer ready because that day has been so hard and stressful. And they need, they need a release. So they think they're doing it with blue light, blocking it out. When in reality, those foundations have not been built. Foundations like getting some good food in, getting some simple movement in which doesn't even have to involve going to the gym and a little bit of stress management. Will blocking out blue light help? Yeah, a few percent. But is it the be all end all? No. There are far, far more important things to look at with your health as an individual, as an adult, before we start worrying about blue light killing you, killing off those brain cells, killing off every single form of motivation you have, making you fat, making you unhealthy. Because yeah, it could be a little bit, but I would kind of guarantee that it's all the unhealthy food, it's the alcohol, it's a sedentary lifestyle, it's the stress levels from work, it's ordering takeout two or three nights a week. It's eating even more processed food and it's not eating the right nutrients that is killing you a lot more than simply not having a pair of blue light blocking glasses. What do you think?